miracle place also called saints place were place dedicated to the lives of various saints rather than biblical events just like mystery plays the miracle play originated to enhance the liturgical services and later separated from the church they switched to the english language became less and less religious and were performed in town festivals in the 13th century most miracle plays are were performed about either saint nicholas or the virgin mary the plays about saint mary regularly involve her in the robe, role of due machina that is god from the machine there would usually be a problem that seems unsolvable and the characters call on the virgin mary to help they were performed in plain and gorney that is cornish medieval amphitheater during the 16th century there was a ban on miracle plays by king henry 8 some were destroyed and soon after they began to fade away in popularity to capture the attention of the audience the plays were often noisy bawdy and entertaining in mystery and miracle plays incidents from the bible and episodes from the lives of the saints were turned into dramas and these were performed on the occasion of religious festivals which under the catholic church were as numerous as in the hindu calendar some of the well known and frequently used in miracle and mystery plays are the themes of resurrection of christ abraham and isaac no crucifixion fall of man and last judgment virgin mary and saint nicholas were the most desirable characters to show the greatness of saints and martyrdom morality plays stemmed from mystery and miracle plays it is the last in the trilogy of vernacular drama typically morality plays tried to teach 
through a theatrical point of view these plays were allegorical dramas that personified the moral values and abstract ideas to teach moral lessons the plays were used to educate the masses on christianity it served better to learn when the information was presented in a theatrical fashion as opposed to readings of the bible moralities were popular during the 15th and 16th century in medieval europe as didactic informative or educational plays quasi professional groups of actors generally performed these plays building off of their public rapport morality plays are still around in the 21st century many schools still have their students perform these plays during the holidays as a school pageant the most common and famous play is every man an english version of the dutch play about the inevitability of death with the wealth gained from the renaissance the traveling theaters were not needed due to the building of permanent theaters and the emergence of professional actors this new era put an end to the medieval drama but it served as a great beginning to what we call drama today morality plays are the result of christian symbolism due to their roots they were quite serious in the beginning but as time wore on the seriousness began to give way and they began to gain characteristics from popular farce they are the intermediate step between liturgical to professional secular drama while still having elements of each the characters within the play themselves personify different moral qualities depending on the moral that is being taught they have a focus primarily on a hero that is protagonist whose inner weaknesses become the main conflict generally the weaknesses are drawn out and antagonized by the seven deadly sins that they are the antagonists that make the hero question not only himself but his standing with god the seven deadly sins for a point of reference are lust greed gluttony envy anger pride and sloth each sin represents a different aspect that 
as the bible states god will not forgive you for morality plays are based highly from a religious standpoint in order to teach individuals about proper or true morals right and wrong to return back to the basic outline of a morality play the hero then has the choice to take what he says to heart or strive for redemption and task the four daughters of god mercy justice temperance and truth to aid in his quest the plays could more than likely be performed in under 90 minutes some common morality plays were the castle of perseverance hicks corner and every man this was a revolutionary improvement in the medieval drama and audience liked the fresh ideas presented through these dramas the most prevalent character seen is the personification of vice or the devil which made the audience fall into a state of wonder the use of these personifications continued even in the elizabethan drama as one can see in christopher marlowe's dr faustus the finest examples of the morality plays are the castle of perseverance every man and mankind they exhibit every element expected of a morality play plays like these were considered as links between the medieval drama and the elizabethan drama interludes as the name suggest came in between events to provide witty entertainment to the audience usually they are very short and used the topics of politics or religious issues but this was done in a rather funny manner therefore they are considered as secular farces they were performed by professional actors either between the acts of a long play or during a feast where entertainment was required thomas haywood is the most prominent of the play- playwrights who contributed a great deal to the popularity of the interludes his works the four peas and johan johan the husband tib his wife and sir john the priest are considered as the best interludes these major forms of drama during the medieval period influenced the later ages predominantly shakespeare marlowe etc were inspired by these plays and learned to perfect the form of drama with their own ideas